hello guys i hope you are all doing well today i wanted to make a quick video on how i set up my vs code and how i start coding first how do i open my vs code many people use the terminal and i actually don't open the vs code this way like i do it the old way I, I'm, I'm not really familiar with the terminal that is why I don't use it to open uh, VS Code so what I do is just go here open VS Code and now we are in VS Code uh, well this is what you see now let's first start with what you can see which is the theme the theme that I'm currently using we can go here and we can find it called AU. Weird name, to be honest. Uh, but this is the one that I like the most. It's light, but I don't, I don't like how it looks light. Nobody likes light. It's only very few people like light. But this is the main one I'm using. There is this other one that I've liked using before. Uh, but, well, for example, let me show you Andromeda. Uh, we'll go to portfolio and everything looks uh poppy like there is a nice contrast uh between with jsx class names and everything but i feel like the background is too bright in my opinion that is why i like using a darker one like AU. so we can see and it's like you can see deeply just code rather than just background and all of that so yeah that is the theme i'm currently using and well, quickly, uh, let's go over the terminal that I use. And I use the regular Node uh, PowerShell uh, type of terminal. Uh, we can see we can open another one. And then I will do everything right here. Like, I don't know, npm run build. Uh, it's just very basic. I know a lot of people that like to use uh, Yarn and different ones. But I mainly use Node.js or well, Node itself uh, for my terminal. So now let's talk about the icons. Uh, the icons that I use are these ones. Uh, you can see them, they look very nice. There is even a CSS type of file, uh, which I have here about CSS. And it's just very nice looking and you can really recognize it quickly. You can really tell by the icon what the file is. Uh, so the one that I'm using is called BS Code Icons. And this is the one that I've liked the most at the moment. So now let's talk about the font that I use. Um, as you can see uh, from the left side, I'm using Fira code, which changes some of the like conjunctions or combinations on arrow functions, uh, triple equals, uh, reverse, which is this one. Um, and basically I'm using Fira code. You can see it on here on settings and we can search for font and then as you can see I've changed to Fibra code uh, this is the one that I like to use and um, this is related I think it is but uh, not important to know at the moment but yeah I'm using Fibra code uh, I know some people that don't like uh, the combinations on the different things that you can do and I do know other people that like it. Uh, I myself enjoy it. I think it's kind of fun, uh, kind of nice looking. As you can see, we can transform this one equals to two equals to three equals, being all the same. And yeah, that is the font that I'm using for um, PS Code. If you're wondering how to install it, you can go to your preferred browser and you can search for Fira code and let's say Google Fonts, for example. Uh, Fira code, Google Fonts, and then you can just go quickly to download family and then it will download. And after downloading, you can just open the file and just extract. Uh, well, seems like uh, we have different packages like we were called variable font and a static 
I'll recommend uh, installing the static and you can quickly do this by I don't know let's go to the desktop and since I already have have it installed I think it will not let me install it maybe it is I think it, it does yeah, it will probably overwrite uh, the file so yeah as you can see I selected all of them and install it for all users and then after you have done that uh, you can quickly go to BS code to the settings we were checking and just change this to double uh, not double quotes only single quotes and write favorite code and that should make it work let's see if I can delete it and just move it here will it reload with the regular family I don't know let's see uh, let's reopen it haven't tried this yet uh, oh yeah uh, it has the default damn this looks ugly as fuck <laughs> actually this looks horrendous I think that this is the base font uh, from Windows um, so yeah this doesn't look nice uh, we'll just copy and code copy paste the uh, favorite code and it should make it look way better Another thing that I wanted to show you was my settings.json. Many people do not know how to enter settings.json, so I'm gonna show you. Uh, go to the low, low left uh, gear and select common palette. And then as you can see, you, well, I have it on recently used, uh, but you can just quickly type JSON. And then you can find around the bottom and well, it appears that uh, it moved to preferences, operators, and settings. I, I thought that it wasn't going to save that on the search. So we'll click open user, open user settings. And here you can change everything you want. Well, we can even see that we have editor.fun family and it has favorite code. Um, which here, if you uh, really know what you're doing, you can change everything you want uh, for example I added this manually so with the live SAS compiler uh, that I have as an, as an extension um, it can save the patterns SRC and styles and the extension it will be as CSS and the format expanded for example I can change it to I think it was compressed yeah and now what it will do is uh, Let's go to the styles, uh, which is this one, and let's say we want to save uh, SCSS. See what it does uh, to the uh, CSS file. It compiled the whole file um, thanks to this setting change. Uh, so now we'll go back to what, what was it called? Uh, compressed. No, it was called expanded. Uh, yeah, there we go. And let's save it again and it will go back to the same form that it had before uh, so yeah this entering this json dot file uh, thingy is quite nice to know and quite useful if you want to really customize uh, your visual studio code and other extensions like you saw with live sas compile uh, so yeah so the last thing I wanted to show you is the insert mode, uh, which is quite useful. I learned it um, fairly recent, but it has um, it has given me some useful um, like some useful ways to go around JavaScript. I'll, I'll quickly show you. For example, we have insert uh, as the default one. What this will do is let's go to i don't know uh one that contains quite a bit of jsx oh for example this one uh we'll do control no i think it's control space yeah it's control space um uh, was it this one control space not here it won't work here too maybe here oh yeah here control space and let's say i want to change this class list to I don't know an attribute node it added attribute node but it didn't remove class list um, 
So let's remove this and we'll go to settings. Um, you can find it by typing insert mode and change it to replace. So now if we hit control space and we want to change it to attribute node, it will completely replace a class list, which is quite useful if you want to change uh, anything on for example target uh, if you want a new suggestion as I don't know time and it will entirely replace the word after and you don't have to like delete uh, what you wrote or what the system added so yeah that was all for this specific video I wanted to show you what I do uh, to change um, the default things on VS Code. On the next video, I'll show you the extensions that I specifically use uh, for VS Code. Uh, I wanted to separate the video in two parts. Uh, so if anyone wants to ever see what font I'm using, what themes I'm using specifically, and if anybody wants to see the extensions that I use specifically and knowing all of these things, uh, they can watch it apart and they can quickly watch the videos uh, so yeah that was all for today um, I'll try uploading the ex extensions video as quickly as possible and yeah thank you guys for watching see you all